so. I sought out Lieutenant Agnon in the First Order District, and guess what? I snagged myself a mission. Feels pretty good to get some work underway. Oh, I'm hungry. The perfect opportunity to earn some credits and explore the planet. My task? To talk to non-First Order members on Batu, the citizens, and spread First Order propaganda. It might sound a little bit heavy-handed, but there's no harm in letting the citizens know who keeps them safe, right? I don't think a lot of people are too excited about the idea, though. Am I missing something? The folks here. They seem more keen on less official authorities, like the smugglers and scoundrels. I've noticed my talks tend to draw a small crowd. Is it really that odd to see a spacer speaking for the First Order? I feel pretty good being associated with the Order. It's as though I'm part of a unit. A unit that has my back. Even though many of the citizens show their distaste, their opinions are kept to themselves in the presence of a stormtrooper. It's laughable. <laughs> but maybe, maybe they just need some time to understand. Hello everyone, this is Fantasy Esque, and welcome back to Star Wars Merith's Path in The Sims 4, where we are exploring our journey to Batu Pack. So, <clears throat> when we left off, Merith received a mission, her very first, from Lieutenant Agnon in the First Order District. And, of course, we have to spread some propaganda, which, I don't know, but kind of feels as though it might be a little bit forced onto the citizens of Batu, but... That's what we've been tasked to do, and Merith has been trying her best to seek out some of the citizens in the neighborhood, right over here, on the district, and see if maybe they'll be receptive to whatever it is she has to say about how great the First Order is, because her experience so far has been exactly that. I mean, everything looks so cool, the uniforms, the crisp uniforms. We have Lieutenant Agnon looking so authoritative, we have all the stormtroopers. She as you guys know, is really, really into that. And I think she truly believes as though the First Order is here to keep everyone safe, and the citizens should probably be reminded of that. But not everyone is so receptive to this idea. Now, we're gonna go ahead, wrap up this mission with Merith, and then report back to Lieutenant Agnon so that we can hopefully get some credits, because we don't have much. I think we have around 200, and we need, seriously, a lot more. So, okay guys, without further ado, let's jump into the episode. As you can see, she has drawn a bit of a crowd. Now, this is a mixed bag of people we have here. We have a Batu citizen, we have two scoundrels, and then we have a resistance person. And I think out of all of them, only Novel was somewhat receptive to the idea that, oh, okay, I'll listen to you. I don't usually, but I will listen to you. We now have, I think, one more person we need to spread the propaganda to before we report back to Lieutenant Agnon. So let's try and find someone. How's she going? Her need's not too bad. Um, I see some folks down this way. So who's this? Miko Fett. There's a lot of scoundrels in this area, to be honest. A lot, I've noticed. So, I don't know, but I feel as though maybe the people on Batu kind of like the whole unofficial authority, the guilds, the scoundrels and the smugglers, because that's maybe where a lot of their money comes from. Which is completely understandable. And where is this dude? Okay, is he coming? Yep. Nope. Nope. He's not making his way here. Okay, let's try and find someone else. Who's this? This is Thuma. Another scoundrel. Let's go and make an introduction. Merith, I think you're gonna have to run to them. And look, now the crowd's dispersed, everyone's on their way. My goodness, this is a bit of a, a tough little thing. I think Merith assumed it would just be so easy to convince them. Another thing I've noticed, scoundrels and smugglers seem to really love the color pink and lilac. I mean, you, they either have lilac facial hair or they have pink eyebrows. All of them, I've noticed. Okay, let's speak to this person and see if maybe he is kind of receptive. Also, I just noticed this um, 
and I didn't before, we have all of these options for Batu specific chat. Like, look at this. The Force, lightsabers, droids, docking bay 7. Pretty much all of our friendly interactions have been replaced by stuff to do with Batu. How interesting is that? What about... No, okay. No, everything else is the same, I think, except for, like, our friendly interactions. It's been replaced by a whole bunch of different topics, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, let's spread propaganda. So this is the final person. Are we going to have at least someone that we can convince? At least one person, maybe? To see how they feel about the First Order, have them agree with us, perhaps? Or does everyone just hate the First Order? Nope, nope. Nobody wants it. Nobody wants anything to do with it. Another spiel. Spiel? Spiel? Another spiel for the First Order. Excuse me, I've got legitimate business to attend to. Okay then, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We'll leave you alone. We'll leave you alone. Where can we go to freshen up? She was gonna go somewhere. Okay, hold on. We need to go freshen up really quickly. And then we'll head back to Lieutenant Agnon. Where was she going? She was going somewhere to freshen up. Is it back where Agnon is, maybe? Mm, I don't know. Hold on a second. Let's see if we have somewhere we can freshen up. Let's see. Where the hell do you freshen up here? I don't see a spot or a place. Hmm. She was gonna go somewhere. No, we don't want to scan that. What is this called? A tie echelon? No, we don't want to do that. Now, where the heck do we freshen up? Because I swear, look, you can order food and drink, which is pretty cool. I noticed something. She was going to go freshen up somewhere. Okay, she is heading off somewhere on her own. Let's just follow her. I don't know where this is, but let's just follow her. Where are you going? It's probably good for us to know, for future reference. It also makes sense that every neighborhood has a spot like this, right? Because imagine having to go back to the Black Spire outpost every time you had to tend to your bladder or your hygiene or some other need. So, okay. Now, I wonder if these, th like, these three are acquainted, because look at them. The crowd kind of drew together slowly but surely, and now they're hanging out with each other. And they seemed quite chummy when they were chatting too, so I wonder if they are acquainted with each other. It's kind of interesting. Wait, where'd she go? Hey, where'd you go? I didn't even get to see where she ran off to. What? Where did she- I wasn't paying attention! Oh my goodness, I wasn't even paying attention. Where are you, woman? Has she just disappeared here? I am so confused. What is going on? Okay, let's just wait and see where she went. Honestly. Okay, that's weird. That is weird. Okay, this is another thing that I find a little bit irritating about the pack. Why is she just disappearing off to places? I mean, it would make sense to me if... I mean, you could easily just make one of these doors a rabbit hole and get her to walk in and deal with her needs. What was that? So I can't even click on something to send her and get her bladder and hygiene up? I just have to automatically click on this, like auto-solve it, and then she's just gonna disappear off somewhere? That's not cool. Okay, that is very odd. I, I don't like that. I don't. I would have preferred if we could actually click on a door or even like a little stand to make her go and deal with her needs. That, that, that's not cool. That's not cool. But okay. Ignoring that, let's go back to Lieutenant Agnon and report to him. See what he has to say. Um, yes, we have delivered the information we've gathered. So let's maybe first introduce ourselves to him. I thought we did that. Apparently not. Well, maybe he'll be willing to acknowledge us now that we've actually done something. So Merit's gonna go ahead, start building some connections, and this is also a way for her to explore the planet, actually. Without having to worry too much about a whole bunch of other things. At least she's associated with the First Order and doing their missions, so 
if she gets caught out with something or caught up in some trouble, then she'll kind of have a backup because she's not just doing, you know, her own thing. She's actually doing something for the First Order, so hopefully that means people won't be able to mess with her as easily. Okay. Debate location of resistance base. That's interesting. Okay, we want to report back to him. So let's report back. How's this going? Simology? Okay, she's going to build something at some point. But let's report back to him. See what he has to say. Oh, ooh, I'm excited. Let's see. First order mission complete. A promising start. Do not let my praise go to your head. Mission complete. We got 200 credits. Some first order reputation. A bonus reward in our inventory. And we have to speak to him to get our next mission. So let's check. Look, we got a little bit of something. So that's cool. And what's this? A thermal detonator. Oh, yikes. I wonder, can you actually use that if we put it down somewhere? Wow, okay, okay, that's cool. I guess she's got some equipment for herself. Okay, I like it. So I think we're going to keep going. Keep going on our little stride. Um, visit every neighborhood but two. Let's go on another mission and see if maybe that's going to move us towards the resistance encampment in the forest, perhaps. So let's see some missions and see if there's anything else we can get done. Or at least under the pretense of a mission, we can kind of go off and check out the forest. See what's going on at the resistance there. Okay, let's see. The Shakedown. So we get 200 plus a bonus item, which is pretty cool. Okay, our patrols have reported suspicious activity, and it appears that our suspicions were correct about the growing resistance presence here on Batu. First order supplies have been tampered with. Question possible witnesses. We need more information as to the extent of resistance involvement. These citizens need to see that there are consequences to actions taken against the First Order. Okay, so our speech was heavy handed, but now we are starting to actually, you know, question some of these people. Interrogate them, I guess we could say. So we need to go ahead and do some of these things. Reseal first order crates, check IDs of suspicious citizens, and report back to Lieutenant Agnon. Right. Now I think, maybe, Merith is going to get a little bit, a little bit enthusiastic, over-enthusiastic about this new mission. And I think she's going to decide, you know what, maybe we should go and check out the forest. Because... When she was chatting to some of these locals and trying to spread propaganda, I think there was some gossip that she encountered that there might be resistance over in the forest. And I think she wants to try and kill two birds with one stone and hopefully get some praise from Agnon by going over there and exploring that. So let's not waste any time. It's pretty early in the morning, but her needs seem to be good. We're going to head off and see what we can get done. I don't know if we're going to find any supply crates there, but who cares? So let's go and explore these rumors, because there have been some rumors going on. I'm excited. I'm excited. I mean, every episode I encounter things I absolutely adore, and then I encounter things that are kind of disappointing, but, you know, you go ahead and do what needs to be done. Oh my goodness. Okay. What's happening? Do we have a new aspiration suddenly? Oh, that aspiration is really short. And then we click on another one. Ah, okay, let's read the aspiration complete. There is a struggle growing on but two, and Merith has only seen the beginning of it. Now it is the time to make the decision of what side to choose and who to support in this struggle. Will she decide to serve the First Order as they look to take control of Batu, or be part of the resistance force that wants to help disrupt the First Order's plans? Merith has received a gift of credits from the faction she has given her support. Use them wisely. Oh my goodness, we got a thousand credits? A thousand credits! Okay, let's see. The struggle between the First Order and the Resistance has come to Batu. The hope of freedom... Oh geez, freedom drives the Resistance, while the First Order seeks to extend their control. Which side will you support while on Batu? You can change your aspiration at any time. Okay, so Merith, as you guys know is quite taken up with the First Order. She's already been doing First Order missions, and she has this noble idea of them in her mind. I feel as though she is going to 
if given the choice one to support the First Order, Lieutenant Agnon has most likely acknowledged this and seen this in her. Um, which is where I'm assuming this thousand credits came from. So we're going to go ahead and make the decision to actually support the First Order. Okay. Wow. So we have a whole bunch of new things within this aspiration that we have to do as well. Okay. Now I want to quickly just have a sweep of this area to see how it looks. So this is essentially the forest. And then we have some interesting things along here. This kind of reminds me of the jungles in Jungle Adventure. Okay, look at this. We've got a whole bunch of little droids and we have, um, what's this? Oh, we've got ten. So this is actually the First Order encampment. Huh. Yeah, and we, look, you have Vimerati. Everything's out in the open. Which, honestly, I feel as though it would have been interesting if this were partially hidden. Kind of like how we have the, um, you know what, yeah, again, this is another thing. I like the way it looks uh, a little bit, but another thing I'm disappointed with is the fact that everything is out here in the open. If you get given a choice and you are not going to join the resistance, I mean, even if you are, I feel as though they should have used a system kind of like Jungle Adventure, where... You can go to the districts, like different districts, but you actually have to interact with some gateways and whatever else to go to the next little clearing or the next section. And eventually that leads you to the temple, but you can't just rock up at the temple by itself. You have to go through these gateways. And I feel as though if the First Order Resistance is hidden in the forest, they should have used the same system where you... Um, need to have a certain amount of reputation to enter a certain gateway, you need to have a certain amount of friends in the resistance, you know, a certain amount of trust in the resistance to actually access a gateway and get to the base. Not just a rock up there, which is kind of disappointing, but, hmm. Okay, so we're gonna say that Merith has wandered around a little bit in the forest for a while, and she hasn't really found anything, and look, this is the guy that we were speaking to last time. So, we had a sweep, which is what I wanted, but we're going to say that Merith has gone ahead, actually had a look around the forest, hasn't found anything, because the game unfortunately doesn't do that for us, so I have to through story. And we're going to head back to the First Order District to try and fix up the supply crates. So, with our missions, let's see what's happening. Reseal First Order Crates. So, reseal open supply crates in the First Order District. A couple of them can be found outside the First Order cargo building. So we're gonna head back. She tried to be a bit enthusiastic. Unfortunately, it didn't work out the way she was hoping. Um, but I don't think Merith is gonna lose hope. She's gonna try and keep doing things in the First Order District. And as she gets more information, finds out more things, then I think she's gonna be a bit more firm in her resolve to go ahead and um, bring these silly resistance people in. But other than that, we're gonna keep going. Let's try and find some supply crates. So they said it was outside the cargo building. Okay, so look, we have some of these. So let's reseal these. Come on. We'll reseal. Oh look, she wants to chat with Shosmi. Oh my goodness. See, okay, this is what I was thinking. This is another thing. Look, she wants to. I was wondering who the hell is this person? I have no clue who this person is. She's never interacted with a sim that looks like that. And it says that that is Shosmi. And I don't see her horns or any of that. So I'm thinking, guys, that maybe all these aliens, they're costumes. If you guys know, let me know. I have no clue. I'm just trying to work with what we have. But. And it's a costume that I can't find. So I am also very confused. But I. Yeah, look. Shosmi doesn't have a horns anymore. So. It must be a costume, which is kind of disappointing. It is quite disappointing, actually. Oh well. What can you do? What can you do? That's what happens when they make it a vacation world. They could have just made it a whole other world, right? A whole other world where you can have your own lots, and whatever else. And then also implemented this whole galactic credits thing when you were in that one world. Or if you live in that one world. 
Hmm. I guess even if you go ahead and just visit that one world, because it makes sense, kind of like how you go to different countries in a different currency, they could have done that with a livable world instead of, uh, instead of what they did. Kind of like the world they have in the Snowy Escape, because that's a vacation and a world you can live in, right? A vacation world, as well as a uh, home world. So they could have done that. Ugh, so many things. And look, look, um... Were there any other aliens we met? I don't think so. I think Shosmi was the one alien we met. And I guess Thu. But yeah. And it seems as though already they were, they were in costumes, which kind of sucks. Huh. Okay. Well, let's try and reseal these crates and just focus on our job and our mission. And oh! Is Korra here? Where's Korra? Where's Korra? Apparently Cora's in the area. Is she actually? Oh! Oh nice! The bartender came to visit. Maybe she was in the area and um... Hmm. Either that or she actually called Merith to let her know. Calmed her? I don't know. To let her know that um... Oh she's in the area. Look at that! Isn't that nice? Excellent, excellent. Let's go ahead and, um, I don't know if we'd want to check her ID. Let's ask her about her day because she could be a potential friend. She looks really cute, actually. She could be a potential friend. So, I'll let them chat a little bit. That's nice. See, look, now she's starting to see familiar faces around the place. She's not by herself anymore, which is really cool. And being friends with the bartender, I think, is pretty good because the bartender probably has a lot of information that she can share with you. But okay, not sure why Cora showed up uh, for a quick hello. You know what? We had that stormtrooper over here. So I think maybe the stormtrooper was giving Cora a little bit of trouble, perhaps. And Cora most likely said that um, Merith can vouch for her. Yeah. I don't know if they know that Merith is associated with the First Order or not. I don't know. What, what do you guys think happened over there with that instance? Because there was a stormtrooper. It looked almost like he was guarding Korra or watching her. And then when Merith came by to kind of take over the situation, then the stormtrooper walked off. So I don't know. You guys let me know what went down over there. That's kind of interesting because she didn't stay for too long. But okay, with that said and done, guys, I'm going to leave off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, oh, oh.